So how did you get started in the industry? So speaking of integrity, <laughs> um, so actually I always wanted to do something in the sex world. Okay. Um, like I was super like obsessed with the sex industry growing up. And my, you know what? My experience is almost like the opposite of yours because mm. you grew up in it, right? Yeah. So like for me, I grew up in New York City and I didn't know anyone in the like it's it simply does not exist out here right um one it's illegal to shoot out here but like mm -hmm. also just it's you just like you know in the valley everyone knows someone yeah and you had family yeah so like you see like bridget b at, fucking at trader Ralph. joe's yeah. yeah yeah or like you know you see like I love caden that's been class well, bridget b is the most looking chick yes. ever yeah she's well i inter she was my last interview and she's gonna be uh before you, she's going to mm -hmm. be the next podcast. I love okay. her. I love her too. Yeah. So anyway, <laughs> so, um, so yeah, like I always wanted to do it, but I didn't know anyone. But then I was walking down the street one day with my ex, ex-husband, my first ex-husband. And, um, so this like super shady looking dude just came up to me and he was like, are you interested in being in the adult entertainment industry? Uh, like the fact that and, someone would come to you out of the blue and say that, that is I know. so creepy. And like I, and I wasn't in the industry yet. So like, right. I, I mean, I, I guess I was wearing like a crop top or whatever, but still like he had that sixth sense. Mm -hmm. And he's um, like, that girl's that a girl. Yeah, I she's know a it. Looking at her. <laughs> and I was, and I was like, absolutely. Yes basically. And I followed him upstairs to his dungeon and I started training the next day and became a dominatrix. And then I, there I met a stripper and then through stripping, I got on this radio show called Bubba the Love Sponge. And from there I met Gina Lynn. I don't know if you remember oh, her. Oh yeah, I remember her. And, um, and I was like, like, you gotta get me into porn. Like, please I'll do anything. So I like took this, like took a bus out to her house and, um, Pennsylvania and then I shot my first scene it was girl girl for her production company and then she like and she was with gold star modeling at the time so they flew me out to California and the rest is history wow mm -hmm. did you like doing dominatrix work at the time yeah like I'm not a dominant person sexually yeah. like not naturally at yeah. all and even now like when I'm put in a role like that like actually now I just like don't even take a role like that right but before I, you know, when you're starting out, you kind of have to, like, take the roles that you can. Um, and when I would, I would feel super awkward and, like, not know the things to say. I would actually need a script. Yeah. Um, but when I was doing, when I was working as a dominatrix in the city, like, I was on. So it was, <laughs> it, the words came a lot easier. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And, um, and I don't know, like, because everything was so new and, like, I, I hadn't, like, I hadn't even, like, identified myself sexually yet. Like, mm -hmm. I didn't know if I was dominant or submissive. I didn't even know people were, like... One way or the yeah. other, yeah. Um, and so, like, I, I, everything was so new that... And every, every day I was learning new stuff, so it was super exciting. Like, I consider that to be, like, my college education. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah. But, I mean, you are really... So, you didn't go to college. Mm -mm, no. But you are very intelligent, and you're a great oh, writer. Thanks. Thank you. So do you read a lot? I read a lot. Okay. I read a lot. And um, my first job was at Barnes & Noble. Oh, when really? Yeah. Remember when I, bookstores existed? I know. I actually saw a couple of Barnes & Nobles out here in New York. Yeah. I'm like, oh my God, there's still bookstores. Yeah. So the one at Union Square, that's the yeah. one I worked at. And then actually I did a book signing there a year ago and they fired me. So that was really exciting. That, oh my God, that was amazing. <laughs> you like, like rub it in their yeah. face. But I mean... In their defense, I was, like, the worst employee. Like, <laughs> Why? I mean, I was – I just remember, like, going into the job interview really high and, like, <laughs> being shocked that I got it. <laughs> so – and then, like, I, I don't know. I was just – I was, like, 14 or 15. So, yeah. you know, I was the worst. <laughs> Did you say anything – like, obviously, there probably wasn't anyone working there that used to work there. No, there was. Oh, there was? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Oh, my God. Like, store managers and stuff. Like, mm -hmm. people – not like cashiers, but like, you know, people who are like in charge of departments and stuff who are still there. Um, and they like kind of remembered me. So that was cool. That's, I, that's yeah. hilarious. Mm -hmm. So speaking of writing, mm -hmm. um, your new book, Asa Erotica, mm -hmm. is out. It's funny because I've been kind of unintentionally promoting your book 
Thank in the you. last couple of podcasts. Not that I don't want to, but no, it's you just put that... it in a movie. Yes, I did. <laughs> Thank I you did. so much for that. <laughs> totally did a product plug with Asa's book because I needed a book for a twisty scene and it either has to be something with like a blank cover, which is hard to find, or I have to get a brand release from the author and that's usually very difficult. Right. And I just happened to have your books that I got from you at the book <laughs> signing. And so I was like, oh my f- God, this is perfect. So I totally like product placement and it was Casey Calvert who oh, was reading awesome. it because she has a thing in, in there right yeah. yeah I was like this is so perfect oh that's really cool yeah it was really good I was happy to do it 